Hello, I'm Frank Hartman with the Hartman Law Firm, and I'm a practicing lawyer in Charleston, South Carolina, specializing in auto accidents and personal injury. Today, we are going to answer the question, is there any reason for you to delay the settlement of your property damage claim? No. In fact, under the law, you have a duty to mitigate your damages. You need to get your car moved from the storage facility, because once it gets towed, it gets taken to the tow yard, and then it typically starts running a tab of about 20 or $30 a day. The insurance company needs to be contacted immediately and they need to go and take it from the tow yard to a storage facility so that it will not continue accruing storage fees. Lastly, the liability carrier, once it has accepted liability, only has an obligation to provide you with a rental car for a reasonable period of time. And typically a reasonable period of time is going to be the period of time in which it takes for them to talk to their driver, find out whether there was, you know, what the liability issues were and uh, essentially how the wreck occurred. More importantly, make a determination about whether your car is gonna be a total loss or not. Once they make a decision about whether they're going to repair your car or whether it's a total loss, their obligation to provide you with a rental car ends at that point. It's actually in your best interest to resolve your property damage claim as quickly as you possibly can. I'm Frank Hartman with the Hartman Law Firm and today we answered the question, should you wait to resolve your property damage claim? If you have questions regarding your property damage or your auto accident, feel free to give me a call at 843-300-7600 or look me up at thehartmanlawfirm.com. Thanks for watching.